Hi, I'm Kendra Ruzak, Managing Editor of CGW. I'm here with James Knight, Global Director of Media and Entertainment and Visual Effects at AMD. So James, thanks so much for being here today. Thanks for coming. I'd love to talk to you about your work with Pixar. Uh, yeah, uh, we've been working with Pixar now for a couple of years and we retooled, we worked very closely with, with, uh, with their team and we retooled the render farm with, uh, with, our, with our technology, with our, with our CPUs, yeah. uh, specifically with uh, Epic. EPYC. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And can you um, talk a little bit about the um, number of cores that were needed to render Elemental? 151,000. So they really pushed the limits. Uh, between Pixar and ILM, uh, those two companies, within about a week of each other, were actually the very, f this isn't marketing hyperbole, this is <laughs> the actual truth. They were the first companies in the world to, to uh, have our uh, Epic CPUs in the data center, in their render farms. Oh, wow. So yeah, we, we, uh, we've been working with them um, for a while. Excellent. And what's coming up next with other companies you're working with in the media and entertainment field? Well, there's a lot. One of the funny things about this role working with the studios is a lot you can talk about mm -hmm. and a lot you can't. So, I, so my cheesy response to that might be watch this space. Yeah. I, think that, I think it's safe to say that, that, that we would love to share more, and we will be, we'll be sharing more of what we've been doing with the RenderMan group at Pixar mm -hmm. um, publicly and bringing that to the community. RenderMan, obviously, like Pixar's rendering software, is one of the most ubiquitous renderers on the planet. And that's used at multiple studios ar around the world of all sorts of different sizes. And also not just uh, media and entertainment companies. A lot, a lot of companies that are not necessarily directly involved in media and entertainment are using that renderer. So I think this tool set and this capability, we want to showcase the absolute top, obviously, and show them what it's like when you push the limits. But that same technology can be used at, at all different levels uh, for, for all different facilities. You don't have to be a Pixar or, or an ILM. Mm -hmm. And I, I think one of the things I love about working, well, that we love about working with, with Pixar is that they really care about the, the community. And that's what the mm -hmm. Arts and Science Fair is and so uh, is, is all about, is about education, awareness, and, and, and sh sharing the tool set and, and what we're doing together uh, with the community. So I think you'll see m more, more of that. Uh, we're also, uh, we've, w last year we did the, the Pixar Render Man Challenge, the Pixar oh, yeah. uh, you know, Render Man Challenge. And uh, we gave, whoever wanted to enter the challenge, we gave them access to the same technology that is at ILM, Lucasfilm, and Pixar. Oh, wow. So. Oh, that's so exciting. Yeah. Oh, wow. So I'd say that's something that's worth watching for. Absolutely. Um, so yeah. Great. And can you talk a little bit about what's coming up with the creator? So um, I think you now know uh, <laughs> you, 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 we, we were able to um, uh, invite Gareth to come and close out the Arts and Science Fair here at SIGGRAPH 2023 in LA, um, lovely Belasco Theatre. <laughs> and so uh, the creator was rendered on AMD and obviously it was he was using, and uh, Industrial Light Magic did all the visual effects and they used Pixar's Render Man. So that was kind of cool to kind of show pieces of that film um, to, the, to, the, to the people that, that turned out tonight. So yeah, it's safe to say it was rendered on AMD <laughs> And, uh, and, and they use Pixar's rendering mm -hmm. application, which is for everybody. So, yeah. you know. And Gareth is from the, you know, from, from the visual effects community. So mm -hmm. I think for, for, for visual effects artists, it's kind of great to see one of, their, one of yeah. theirs, you know, done good. Exactly. That's sort of an English term, you know? But, it, yeah. but I think that was one of the things that, we, that they talked about. So yeah. That, 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 I think, was, w w was great for people to see. It was really exciting to see that footage. So, yeah. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much for, for chatting with me today. It was really great to catch up with you about AMD. And yeah, really appreciate it. Cheers. Thank you so much. Thank you, James. <laughs>